What's up, 10 Scale Squad? W.O. Toys finally, finally has a brushless version of the 104001. You know, that 14 scale dune buggy and buggy that they have? Now they got brushless ones. We got them. We're going to put them head to head on this episode. Let's do it. It's two card Monty. <laughs> All right, I don't know which one is which, so pick one. You can either stay with that one or you can swap them out, whichever you want. I play the hand that's dealt. You play the hand that's dealt? All right. He who dealt it, smelt it. He who smelt it, dealt it. All right. Should we do this on the count of three? One, two, three. Ah, it's the one that I wanted. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what they were. Oh, snap. So these are the new, much anticipated, long awaited WL Toys brushless. Brushless. Ooh. Look, it oh. even says powerful. Oh, grab your battery. Is there a battery in there? Oh. Son of a gun, <laughs> trade me back. <laughs> Is it on the bottom of the other one or anything? It's probably in it. Yep, it sure is. Nice. Oh Dude, it's got a fan on the ESC and everything. Ooh. That suspension feels plush. Plush. I like it. Mine says race muscle flame. Look at that. Well, that's race cool. muscle flame. It's because you're a flamer. Ouch, uh. dude. <laughs> Stay low. I'm fierce. Fierce. Ooh. Get it, girl. Yeah, so these are the new brushless WL toys. The 144001s uh, were the brushed versions. And now these bad boys are the brushless freaking upgrades. We took out the 144001 and had an absolute blast with that thing. We even put paddle tires on it and took it ripping around in the snow and it was sick. But now we got the brushless upgraded ones and it's time to see what's what. We've got the brushless WL Toys 124016 and there's seven. So naturally, we gotta put the two head to head. Uh, pretty much the same chassis, same power system, same everything, except one is a dune buggy, one's a regular buggy. This one has lights, which is dope. Yeah, that's cool. Mine came with extra battery though. It did indeed. <laughs> so we're gonna put them head to head, see which one's faster, and uh, you know, bragging rights. We also brought out the E-Sheen E14, the 144001 clone that's got a brushless system in it. This thing goes like the clappers. And we also got the brushed version. So we're gonna see, so we're gonna see how much of a difference the brushless system makes over the brushed one. Let's do it. All right, so we've got all the ingredients for a drag race. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna take that one. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Every time it goes, it pulls. Yeah, it does. Mine stays pretty gosh darn straight. Oh, here come the excuses. Here come the excuses. Look at my wheels. They look like wheels to me. Oh, that's your steering servo is way faster than mine. That's what I'm saying. Like, as soon as you touch it and do anything, dude, it just flies to the side. <laughs> yeah, it does. Woo! Woo! She 
He's got some jams. Him. That's a spicy pepper. <laughs> Definitely one of our less haggard ways to attach a speedometer. <laughs> We've done some pretty crazy stuff in the past. All right, what do you think? Predictions? 36. 36? That sounds that sounds about right. Well, what did the box says? 75 kilometers an hour, yeah. right? That and was, what was that? That was like, like 40... 47, 48 mile an hour. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? I'm going to say, I'm going to say 40. Woo. I'm going to say 40. All right. Only one way to find out. Let's do it. I don't know. That didn't look like 40. It sure did. Survey says 37. 37. Oh, oh dang. <laughs> well, should we try yours? Yeah. All right, predictions. I'm going to say 38. 38? 38. I dare say 37. Oh, and I'm going to do it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Back up. You know what? You know, you know what? Yeah. I'm gonna take it back. What? I'm gonna say 36. 36? Yep. Let's do it. Oh, I think I can wind her out a little more. I think you can. All right. Survey says, if it's 36, I'm going to be so disappointed. 38! Oh, Ooh. nice! <laughs> A whole mile an hour. It's probably that little last bit where it I was probably, It probably low. was. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the 144001 did 30, and I think this one might be a bit faster. So, I don't know. I'm going to say 32. 32? 32. I'm gonna go 30 flat. 30 flat? 30 flat. All right. Not as fast. It's not. 34. 34. So Interesting. 33 mile an hour versus 38 mile an hour, 37, 38 mile an hour. That's the difference in just that brushless system. However, there are some other benefits if you want to go with the brushless platform. For example, the brushless ones have a three wire servo. Uh, so if you want to upgrade the electronics or if you want to replace the servo, it's going to be a heck of a lot easier to get a three wire servo than a replacement five wire servo. Or same with the ESC and receiver. Those things are gonna be a lot easier to replace on the brushless system rather than that two-in-one ESC receiver combo that you find on the brushed version. So keep that in mind. You're not only getting a benefit in speed, but you're also getting the benefit of upgradability, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the speed question answered, but what are they like off-road, on the racetrack? There's some water, standing water on the racetrack, so. We might see uh, just how waterproof these things are today, too. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no. I spun out immediately. Oh, no. Wheels. Oh. Wheels. Yo. Yeah. Through the water. Through the water some more. Oh. Oh. You bumped me. I'm taking a shortcut. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, you got that one. Easy. Easy. So these things, they're not racers, you know. You're not gonna come out here and compete with like a low C DB Pro or, or anything like that. Uh, having a blast with it, yeah, but it, they are a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. There we go. They're having the lead. Yes, sir. Oh, no, no, no. I spun. I spun again. There we go. There we go. Got him. <laughs> so the outside is pretty gosh darn dirty, but the inside should probably... Yeah, dude, oh, look at yeah. that. The inside isn't bad at all. That's the benefit of having a dune buggy. The dune yeah. buggy body, for sure. I want to do... 
brushed versus brushless Not because crazy. hashtag brush motors matter. And I actually think having the brushed motor in this case might be a little bit more beneficial because the power is a lot more manageable. The only downside is the tires. Yeah. The tires on the brushed version are not nearly as aggressive. And on this surface, I don't know. We might, um, there's only one way to find out. All right, so here we go. Brushed versus brushless. What do you think, ready? Oh yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh no. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, come on, now I'm on the power. Stay in it, stay in it. Yes, yes, brush the motors matter. <laughs> I'll tell you what, out here on the track, it doesn't, oh no, it doesn't seem like there's much in them as far as speed goes. I can't get, I cannot get any traction anymore. Yeah, this is much more manageable, much more manageable. Beautiful. Yeah, around a racetrack, believe it or not, the brush is a little bit more precise because with the brushless ones, boy, the throttle trigger is almost like an on-off switch. There's not a whole lot of exponential in there. All right, short wheelbase versus long wheelbase. Let's get it. Go. I cannot get that. Whew. Oh my gosh, short wheelbase is pretty ridiculous to control ah come on baby come on go straight through the water over the jump yeah wheels there we go can i catch ethan can i catch I him get go straight oh no i'm in the woods so the short wheelbase is definitely a lot harder to keep going straight i mean you got to think that's four wheel drive and a brushless system that thing just wants to swap ends on you real quick. And before you know it, you're all the way out here in the weeds. Yeah. It's a tough little thing though. So what do we think? The Brush WL Toys, definitely a super fun rig. And 30, what was it? 33 mile an hour right out of the box. Not too shabby. The Ishin E14 clone of the WL Toys, the brushless clone of the WL Toys, definitely a ripper. Love that thing. And the brushless WL Toys, the long awaited, much anticipated. We finally got them. We finally got our hands on them. We finally gave them, I think, a pretty thorough test. Yeah. One, neither one of them are broken. They're fine. And we did all kinds of ridiculous things with them. Lots of cartwheels. Lots of cartwheels. They're pretty quick. I mean, almost 40 mile an hour right out of the box on a, what is it, 16th scale chassis, 14th scale chassis. That's that's nothing to stick your nose up at. No. Around the racetrack, they were not super competitive, but they were a lot of fun. I think with a gyro, mine might be pretty, uh, it might be pretty awesome. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Is that something you wanna see? Do you have either one of these uh, buggies? And as always, if you wanna pick up one for your own, I'm gonna put a link to where I got mine down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. I'm glad you found it. We like to do RC shenanigans like this all the time. We've got some epic stuff coming up. You're gonna wanna stick around. All right guys, until next time. Mm.